Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Friday, and I'm back with another uh, Friday Facebook Live. Hope everyone had a good week. Um, this week is been pretty good for me. Uh, pretty much back to normal. Uh, kind of just doing my normal routine, which is good uh, after the holidays. So just kind of back into the swing of normal things. Um, I hope everyone is um, still sticking with and motivated by the new year and doing all that fun stuff of uh, keeping up with the, their, their goals and the changes that they want to make in the new year. So um, kudos to you if you're still going. I think there's a pretty high dropout rate after like the first week. I can't remember what it is, but um, I've heard like super crazy statistics that so many people you know, give up on their New Year resol New Year resolutions or goals just after the first week. But if you're still going strong, um, kudos to you guys. So um, today I wanted to talk about um, something that has to do with um, ways to successfully make changes in your life, in your lives, whatever that might be. Uh, but obviously, we're going to talk in the context of health, uh, fitness, and wellness. Uh, and that is a concept of habit stacking. So. Uh, you know, one of the problems that we have uh, when we go to make changes, um, whatever that change may be, is that we start out really strong, we implement that change, we do it, you know, every day or, you know, however many times a week we want to do it. And then all of a sudden, you know, a few weeks into it or a month into it, we suddenly something happens, we don't do it, and then we kind of lose momentum and all of a sudden this new habit falls to the wayside. And um, so I see this happen a lot with um, clients, you know, they might struggle with something like uh, consistent exercise or um, going for their walks or um, eating enough protein or, you know, um, you know, doing a nighttime uh, wind down routine before bed or doing meditation or whatever it might be, right? They, they start out strong, they, they get down for a couple of weeks and then all of a sudden things kind of just fall off to the side and they're very consistent about it and all of a sudden they're not doing it anymore. Um, and one of the things I like to encourage clients to do or to think of is, um, is try something called habit stacking. So we all have habits. Um, we, we do things pretty regimented um, from day to day. Our days mostly look the same. Uh, I'm particularly <laughs> Uh, fond of my habits. I like my days to look exactly the same every single day. Uh, it provides me comfort and structure. I just feel better operating that way. Uh, some people more or less, but we all have habits, right? A good example is, um, you know, people brush their teeth, right? Most people brush their teeth twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, and they do that religiously every single day, pretty much 365 days a year. Um, and they don't have problems forgetting not to brush or forgetting where they don't brush their teeth for a month, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, we can easily go months without exercising, for example. Um, so one of the things I like to encourage do uh, encourage clients to do when they're trying to establish new habits is to attach them to existing habits they already have. Uh, so <clears throat> for example, um, if you're trying to establish a new exercise habit, um, you might stack that on top of something that you're already doing, right? Um, say you're um, fond of walking and you walk every morning. Well, you might just want to um, stack the exercise on top of your walk. So you go out for your 20 minute walk, you come back, you do your exercise and then you start your day, right? Um, or if you are trying to start a meditation habit, you do that, you know, for example, while your coffee is brewing. Maybe you love coffee, right? And you you love to brew it fresh every day. You take the, the time, the 10 minutes, whatever it takes to, to boil the water and brew your nice fresh pot of coffee. Um, and uh, you want to start a meditation habit, um, but you're having a hard time sticking to it. Well, while the coffee's brewing or before you brew the coffee, you spend five, 10 minutes and do your meditation, right? So you stack these habits on top of existing habits, things that you know that you can do every single day. And therefore it just becomes part of this existing habit. And this tends to make you a lot more successful and a lot more consistent because, hey, you go for that walk every day or, hey, you brew that coffee every morning. 
and you know how long it takes and you know exactly when you're going to do it and you can easily easily structure things uh, out that way the problem is that people have is when they don't attach it to some type of habit um, then they kind of just go by the seat of their pants throughout the day and they're like okay i gotta exercise today they go throughout their day and you know they're doing their normal things and they go through the day and then all of a sudden it's the end of the day and they haven't done their exercise right they never actually attached it to anything um so when you attach it to something that you do every day you're more likely to do it um and the other thing that people can do is like they know that they you know eat breakfast at this time or they go for their walk at this time or they uh, brew their coffee at this time or they take their lunch break now or you know whatever um, is to schedule it into this new habit into their day right so if they schedule it right as part uh, they put it on the schedule they're more likely to do it again if you just try to go by the, the seat of your pants and you're you're like okay i got exercise today this is what my coach told me to do or today i want to meditate and i'm going to do it at some point today but you don't actually set the intention to actually do it um you just you just don't do it right chances are it's not going to get done something's going to get in the way it disrupts your day and you just never get to it uh so that's why you know when you attach it to a habit you're essentially scheduling it because you have this habit of this thing that you do every day you know you make your coffee um you're saying i'm going to do my meditation uh while my coffee is brewing you essentially schedule it right because that you know that you're going to do this thing every day and you now you've scheduled your meditation alongside this thing that you do every day and you're more likely to get it done so it's a little um tip and trick for you as you try to uh, establish new um, healthy habits in this new year. Um, try this concept of habit stacking and it can work for various different things. It doesn't have to be exercise. It doesn't have to be health or wellness related. It could be, you know, um, you know, a goal of just writing for 10 minutes every day, right? Attach that 10 minute goal of writing to same thing. While your coffee's brewing, you sit down and you write for 10 minutes or journaling. Um, you know, you after I like personally like to journal after dinner is done. So every day, after I finish eating dinner, before the family gets down and, sits and you know, while my, my, my wife is typically the one cleaning up after dinner, because I usually make dinner, um, while she's cleaning up and the kids are playing or whatever, I'll sit down and I write my journal for a few minutes just before we all go down and sit down on TV and watch some TV. So I've attached this habit of journaling to post dinner kind of wind down and uh, I'm do it pretty much every day now. Same, with my, same thing with my meditation. I've attached it to a habit of just waking up. <laughs> so I wake up and I go downstairs and I sit and meditate. Uh, and that just the fact that I wake up is my is my um, my trigger to meditate. That's what I'm stacking on top of, right? So, uh, and I've been very successful at consistently meditating now for uh, well over a year. I I made that habit change just about a year ago, and I've been doing it for pretty much all year. Um, so yeah, uh, try that out. Um, if you're having trouble sticking to these new healthy habits you're trying to establish, try habit stacking. Try stacking them on top of things that you know you do every day. And I guarantee that you will be far more consistent than if you just kind of wing it uh, throughout your day. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comments. I'll happy to answer them. You can always direct message me as well. Happy to answer any questions about this or anything else really. As always, you can sign up for my newsletter. Uh, if you go to rjbhealth.coach, uh, right at the top, there's a link to sign up for the newsletter. If you sign up for the newsletter, you get all this content that I put out, Facebook Lives, blog posts, etc. Uh, delivered right to your inbox so you don't have to worry about missing anything. Um, so please do that, and I guarantee that the content's all useful and uh, relevant and uh, actionable information so you're not just thinking garbage. Uh, and if you're interested in any kind of coaching, please uh, reach out as well. Again, direct message me. Uh, you can um, uh, uh, leave comments, direct message me, email me. Uh, if you go to my homepage, rjbhealth.coach, there's a link right at the top to uh, schedule a discovery call so that we can discuss coaching further. And with that, I'll sign off and tell everyone to have a wonderful week. Uh, hope you enjoy the weekend. We're probably gonna go maybe do some ice skating with the kids. Uh, hopefully the weather cooperates. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll talk to everyone next week and have a good week.